to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In 2021, more than 30% of households below the federal poverty line were food insecure. And those numbers were significantly higher for black and Hispanic households. And there's a group in Prince George's County hoping to improve those numbers in a pretty cool way too. Our Evan Kosloff is live in Atlanta, Maryland this morning with the details for us. Hey Evan, so what's going on out there? Yeah, so th right here is where they're focusing on aquaculture. And when you hear aquaculture, you might think of like, you know, the bay or a body of water, but no, you could do it just on, on land. And we're going to break that down. We're joined by somebody from the VFW. This is uh, King Smith. So what's going on right now? We're surrounded by all these crates. You guys are looking to build something. Well, good morning, Evan. I appreciate the opportunity to share with your audience uh, what we are doing here at uh, Post 8950. And we are building a greenhouse. That's a simple term for it but it'll be an aquaculture training center for veterans. And we want to keep veterans to the forefront of what we are doing here. And our effort is at the training component of that, to teach them how to own, operate, or manage uh, the facility. And for folks that maybe don't know what aquaculture is, I mean, it's sometimes called aqua farming because that's essentially what it is, right? It's just farming yeah. in the water. And that's exactly what it is. And we will build a controlled environment facility which will allow us to have 24 months of producing uh, vegetables as opposed to the usual seasonal terms uh, for the yield. And before we get to helping veterans and how they're going to play into this, I know aquaculture is a big deal because of boosting the food supply, right? That's the 21st century model of farming. <laughs> yeah, you, you no longer need the water to grow you know, salmon or oysters. Don't need or... And, and by it being in a greenhouse, you have a controlled temperature. So controlling the temperature is a controlled environment so that that can go on for, for, for 12 months. So, so this is going to be, and why don't we show uh, some of these here, maybe you can walk us through what this is. Yeah, You're going to build what? This, this is what it is. It'll be a, it'll be a greenhouse in effect. Uh, and that will be the training center where uh, the production of the vegetables will be. And ultimately we hope to also be produce, producing fish because the fish tanks is what will be used for um, the nutrients for the vegetables to grow on water because it'll be in a circulating uh, aqua system. It's very cool. I, I thank you for your time. We're going to talk again in about a half hour, but the goal is that once you have this training, veterans can learn this, make some money, and create some seafood that will, could be sold across Prince George's County. So I'll send it back to you, Randy, but pretty cool stuff happening here in Lanham. Yeah, it's so fascinating. And, you know, the, the thing about it, battling food insecurity, too, it could affect, impact so many families. So we'll be looking forward to checking back in with you, Evan. Thanks. It's